Hi, I'm still here in the spirulina factory, if you want to call it that, on the big island of Hawaii. They sucked me into this place. I thought I was just going to have a quick look at spirulina and leave. And now, look, I've got books. I'm learning all kinds of stuff. It's such an interesting topic just to understand the, the level of depth that there is to, to appreciating superfoods and how they can affect your health. Now I've cornered this very nice guy here, Bob Capelli. He's one of the big kahunas at this uh, spirulina farm. It's called Nutrix. Nutrix, uh, yes. Spirulina. Mm -hmm. NutrixHawaii.com. Nutrix yes. Dash. And now uh, we were just sitting here talking about all the interesting aspects of spirulina and how it can improve your health. And, uh, you know, I think all of us are working in this field because we really like to see people getting healthy. And that's what it, what it really comes down to. And I just want to ask you, in your experience working here, have you really seen or heard the customer feedback where, where these products are making a difference in people's health and their lives? Uh, absolutely. And to tell you the truth, it's really the main reason why a lot of people at this company want to work here. Because we get this feedback constantly. We yeah. get phone calls, emails, letters. I mean, it's really amazing. If you look at both these books, the last sections, are just like a fraction of the of the testimonials that were sent to us over the years, uh, but they're amazing. I mean, people, we have like medical doctors saying these products change our lives. You know, these yeah. are MDs that are taught about drugs and like you know just prescribing you know fast fixes and side effects. And there's you know we have people MDs honestly just saying these things have really helped me to live better, to feel better. Uh, really improving the quality of their life. So mm -hmm. it's the best thing that we do here is to hear that. So let me ask you this. For an average person, someone who doesn't change anything else in their diet, doesn't want to do detox, doesn't want to quit smoking, doesn't want to stop drinking, even if they take something like spirulina every day, do you think they can actually start to feel a difference in their health? Uh, to tell you the truth, you're going to have a much more drastic feeling um, and a much faster feeling from somebody who is not living a very healthy lifestyle, and that's obvious. But I, I do think that people that are still trying to follow a very, very healthy lifestyle will feel a difference from if they're not taking a superfood like spirulina after they take it. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that. Yes. Yeah, I think that you know even small changes can make a big difference. So. Um, this is because I know out there it can be so confusing. There's so many different products out there, and there's so many different detoxes and programs, and people can get confused on what to take and what not to take. And I try to tell people, like, look, even if you can only do one step, even if you can only take one thing to try to improve your health, there are things out there that can give you a lot of benefits. And spirulina, in my opinion, is one of them because of the minerals, because of the chlorophyll, um, because of the the, the healing power mm -hmm. of something like uh, this type of a superfood, which is a nutritionally dense food for its size and shape. We were just talking a minute ago about the organic side of spirulina. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk to us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, our company, uh, Hawaiian Spirulina, grown here on this farm, was the first uh, microalgae farm in the entire world to get organic certification. Now, this was back about 1995. And then it, what happened was in 2005, uh, the um, National Organic Standards Board, they came out and they said that we cannot call our spirulina organic anymore just because they don't like that the uh, source of nitrogen is mined mm -hmm. from the earth. So, you know, we understand it's, it's non-sustainable mining, uh, but now that they've, they've said that you have to use either compost teas or you have to use, like, animal fertilizers, you know, animal um, excrement, uh, this is going to make a much worse product in terms of heavy metal levels, in terms of uh, bacterial loads, uh, less nu nutrient levels. So we've chosen to maintain our, our exact same production uh, that we had years ago when it was okay to call organic. Mm -hmm. We cannot call organic anymore, but it's the same product, right. and it's much healthier and much better for you. Right. So. And your spirulina powder is pure spirulina? Uh, our powder is 100% pure. Our okay. tablets are 98.6% pure spirulina. Okay. Yes. So that's important to note because a lot of what I'm what I teach is you know always watch for added fillers, mm -hmm. especially in something like spirulina because you could legally add other things and hide the actual amount of spirulina content. But in yours, it's 100% spirulina, yes. and that's really important. It's like getting value for your money. Even if you spend half the price on something else, if you're only getting 10% of the product, what's what's the point of it? And this is really an investment in your health, so uh, it's it's important to think about those things. This is the one I want to ask you about. Uh -huh. 
first of all, if you can say it, then you're already an expert in my opinion because <laughs> this is a hard one to say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you just take the X and turn that into a Z in your mind, that kind of does it. Okay. Asta Xanthan. Asta Xanthan. Asta Xanthan. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, there we go. Well, this is a big one in the U.S. now. A lot of people are talking about yeah. this one. You guys are growing it outside. Mm -hmm. You've written a book about it. Mm -hmm. I would say that probably makes you an expert, at least in my opinion, because you can say it and I can't. <laughs> Uh, but tell us a little bit about this one, because this one's getting very popular now, thanks to Mercola and Dr. Oz, people like that. Yes. So there's a lot of interest in this particular one now. Now, you were telling me just a minute ago it's not actually a superfood because it's... No, it's uh, extracted. It's microalgae that's been extracted. It's extracted. Now, why is it extracted? Okay, so what happens is we grow this microalgae, and in order to make it have any value, um, in order to also preserve it, because it's so unstable because it's very, very high antioxidant level. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make it stable, you have to do something to it to, to do that, and you want to get the benefits. So we have to send it out for extraction. It's a super critical carbon dioxide extraction. No solvents are used, completely natural process. And this allows us to concentrate a little bit so that it's going to maintain its stability. It's actually, when it gets in your body, it's going to do something for you. Mm -hmm. And the re you know, thank you for asking about like this newfound popularity. It just happened just over the last year. But a lot of um, opinion leaders, people that are, really have you know, some strong followings, are finding out, uh, taking it themselves and finding out this stuff really makes me feel better. Mm -hmm. And they're talking about it on Dr. Oz show, like you mentioned, they're talking mm -hmm. about it in their blogs. And, uh, so what we're finding is this product here will have a profound effect on things like joint health, tendon health, uh, eyes and brain. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll have a very, very strong effect on your skin. Now, this is something really interesting. If you take this product internally, if you take a little pill in, in your body, it's going to have a profound effect on your skin. It's going to help uh, increase resistance to UV damage. Mm -hmm. and it's also going to help you to improve, believe it or not, from the inside out, the quality of your skin, meaning reduction in fine wrinkles, increased skin moisture, and increased elasticity of your skin. Mm -hmm. All documented in human clinical research. So some really unique properties to this stuff uh, that are really not available in a whole lot of other products. Mm -hmm. And this, and, I'm sorry, safe and natural too, Jennifer. And so when you're selling it as an extract, does that mean it's in a liquid form and people add it to water and, or juice or something like that? We're working on that, but okay. right now it's available in uh, uh, gel caps. Okay, gel caps. Yes. I see. And, uh, oh, we have we, some yeah. gel caps here. One of our, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It looks, like, uh, it looks like a black jelly bean. Except it's healthy. <laughs> a healthy jelly bean. <laughs> a healthy wow. bean. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they look like jelly beans, but there's no jelly bean label on it. <laughs> oh, this is a good jelly bean. Well, you know, I, let me just tell like a real brief testimonial. I took this job because of this product. I, uh -huh. I was working for um, 12 years before I started this company in the supplement industry, mm -hmm. all natural supplements. Mm -hmm. I, there were some great products that I loved. There were some ones I didn't like as much that you know I knew about. Then I heard about this as being such a strong antioxidant. So I started taking this, and what I found was it wasn't only an antioxidant, but after a short period of time, I found that uh, I played basketball, and I found it was helping me to recover the morning after basketball with muscle and joint soreness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was getting some issues with my knees. Uh, I got so sore after basketball the next morning, my wife said I walked like Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. and I was just stiff. So after about, like, use it for a month or so, no more issues, no more joint pain in my knees, no more muscle soreness. So, whoa, you know, this stuff is great. This was before it was even being marketed for joint and muscle soreness. Mm. Uh, and then what I found, too, taking spirulina and astaxanthin combined, over the period of the last, like, almost 11 years I've been working at this company, taking these both, both the products, never a colder flow in, in almost 11 years. Wow. So if you want to help your immunity, there's nothing like this, this combo here mm -hmm. to do that. So let me ask you, because you, you used to work in the supplement industry, now yeah. you work here. Mm -hmm. What do you take every day on a daily basis in terms of supplements? I still take quite a few. I used to take even more, but I've whittled down to the ones that I really okay. feel are efficacious. I, you know, I, I'm a heavy guy, so I wear a little bit of my heart, so I do take some things, uh, CoQ10 I take. Uh -huh. uh, I take a multi every day. Mm -hmm. I take um, uh, sterols, mm -hmm. also another heart uh, remedy. I take um, uh, red yeast rice. Mm -hmm. uh, I take... Uh, these are all kind of along the lines of, along the lines of heart, uh, and spirulina and astaxanthin, of course. And I know I'm forgetting one or two. Why am I doing that? Uh, 
I'm taking oh B B vitamins. Uh, okay. Yeah. So. Any other any other antioxidants? Any of the superfoods? Are you only on? Oh grapeseed. Oh sorry, grapeseed. grapeseed. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. The extract? Yes. Okay. Grapeseed extract. Pretty good combination. I approve. <laughs> <laughs> if I pass that approval, I'm, I'm a happy boy. We can talk. We can do a private <laughs> consultation. I can I can get you on a good plan. Uh -huh. um, Excellent. But it's really interesting stuff, and you know, just talking about that, what, what it makes me think is like there's no harm in trying something like this for an individual to try it for 30 or 60 days because something like joint pain, I mean, some of the other options could be steroids or other pharmaceutical drugs that, that can have other damaging effects on the body. And long term, you're, you, you, you're doing damage in other areas. You might feel improvement in that one area, but working on the body as a whole, it's not really effective. And something like this, you're still getting bonuses all around. You're, you're not damaging the liver, you're strengthening the liver. Yep. And um, it, it's something natural. So if you try it for 30 or 60 days and it doesn't work, well, you, you haven't done any damage. Yes. But I think most people would, would find that they would find some improvement in that time. And that's the key thing, too, is that don't give up. If you try it for, like, you know, a week or two and you're not feeling anything, it usually takes two to six weeks to really start feeling the effects. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really important to stick with it. Uh, and what you were saying before, nothing is truer that most things that are targeting inflammation are have side effects. Mm -hmm. If you look at aspirin, it, it can cause ulcers. Yes. Look at Tylenol and some other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, they can cause liver damage. Mm -hmm. If you look at prescription things like, like Celebrex is still available, Vioxx is off the market, thank God, mm -hmm. it can cause heart attacks. Mm -hmm. This you know. will take longer to work, yeah. but once it works, it works just about as well. For, this is from clinical research and from uh, consumer surveys, mm -hmm. and it's safe and natural. No side effects, no contraindications. Mm -hmm. I'm all about that. I mean, this, this, this is why we're here. This is why we're doing what we do. And uh, these guys have been so welcoming to me. I'm about to get on a plane. They've stayed late. Um, they've all hung around because of my crazy schedule. So I just want to say thank you to all you guys. It's Our really pleasure. been a pleasure. Next time I'm here, I'm doing an iridology reading on you. Okay. <laughs> I like you. Okay. Okay, good. We have you a deal. <laughs> Thanks so much, Bob. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Thanks, guys. Aloha.